Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching not Anfa vlog this time. Uh, this time it's a video, um, actually it's gonna be a few videos, about how I made the track Bodacious, which was my entry to the open source music FM synthesizer challenge, that's a hard name, um, and it won. Actually, I, I was voted first place, so um, I guess that making off could be interesting, but it's very long and uncut. So you can see the whole process from start to finish, exactly as I just did it. And you can see all my struggle and going back and forth and trying things and failing and trying dif different things and trying to fix what, what didn't really work out. And I think it's gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, so bear in mind, I recorded this quite a few days ago and uh, I didn't know things I know now. I wanted to make this actually a an exercise and learn Oxy FM synth because uh, I think it's pretty nice, but I also resorted to using two instances of Dext as well. So, yeah, enjoy! Hey, it's Anfa and you're watching Anfa Vlog. Today's video is gonna be different because lately I've been trying to make my videos shorter and more to the score to be more robust, less full of digressions and stuff like this, but this video is gonna be absolutely the opposite. This video is gonna be long and, and weird. So I was notified about an ongoing open source FM synthesis challenge, music challenge, hosted by Linux Cologne, a community, a community of Linux nerds in Cologne which is also the place that hosts Sonoif convention, which I went to and I'm going to this year. Anyway, the thing is, there are, there's a list of available open source synthesizers that can be used. Uh, you can use any open source effect processors. You can't use any proprietary ones. You can use proprietary DOS and uh, a limited number of built-in effects in these proprietary, proprietary DWs. But... Uh, not much else, and um, well, I decided to give it a go. I had some experiences with Dexid and Oxa FM Synth. These are two strictly FM synthesizers I've been I've been using a bit, apart from Opulent Z, which I didn't too much use in LMS. So Dexid was kind of a, it was very difficult to understand. I couldn't understand how the envelopes are supposed to work. I'm, it's super weird. Totally not what I'm used to, not ADSR, very strange. So I gave it a go once, not really got on with it. Twice, didn't help either. So I tried Oxy, Oxa, Oxy FM synth, and it sounds pretty nice. It sounds capable. Um, it has a nice routing grid. It has various waveforms, so not only sine waves, which can give some cool um, options, so I thought, let's give it a go. And actually, I had some experience with it, but I'm not super experienced with it. So I'm going to be learning this synth as I go. So I just wanted to document my process of creating the track, the sub my submission, my entry for this uh, open source FM music synthesis challenge. So here's my ardor session. I have, I'm creating 16 tracks with Oxy FM synth. I titled the track Bodacious, really boldly. Hopefully I'm gonna, it's gonna live up to the name. All righty, let's uh, assign a MIDI keyboard input. That's the default sound. Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna first try to figure it out and make a kick drum. Mm. So let's just make one bar. Oh dear, nope. Oh, the bar doesn't start at the start of the bar. Too bad. Let's just put four on the floor. Oh sweet, sounds nothing like a kick drum. All right, let's figure this out. I need just one operator. That's it. Let's make it loud. And every one of them has Hmm. 
pitch curve. What is this? Oh, it's portamento. Okay. Operator F. I'm using operator F right now. Okay. Keyboard tracking. Wave sign. Can I have a can I have a frequency envelope? That's the pro, that's the question. There's an LFO. Sign LFO. Oh. Interesting. Things are moving when I am moving things. Hmm. I'm going to disable all the operators. Oh, panning. Okay, I want panning in the middle. Actually, if there is a... Okay, double click resets it to default. Great. So it's F. Uh, oh, okay, so this is F. E influence on F. This is F to output. Okay, also this is pretty quiet. I'm gonna put a limiter on the master. Limiter, super quiet. Now that's better. Uh, actually it's too loud. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> How do I, why does the pitch change when I move the knobs around? That's weird. Actually, when I touch something else than an operator. Well, that's nice. Okay, maybe I can use a different operator to make a pitch envelope for this one. For example, if I use operator E to influence operator F, operator E is too high frequency. Oh, sweet. Yeah, let's make operator E decay to zero. This is kind of a... <laughs> kind of a doing it. I wonder what is the LFO used for and how can I actually source it? Oh, this is self-modulation, all right. Ah, this screen is nice. It, it shows lots of things. Maybe I can understand stuff with it. LFO waveform, rate, depth, delay, destination, OPX. Ah, I see. So I can send awake, but. Uh, well. I think OPX is noise. Yeah. So we basically have pitch. A little bit of the a little bit of the noise would be, oh, there's some settings for that. Cut off. Okay, so we have a low pass. 
Oh, it's actually bunt pass. Amount. Hey, but isn't this the same thing as here? I think not. Okay, let's give it some very short. Yeah. OPX bypass, what is that? No idea. But hey, we have something like a kick drum. Now, let's see what we can do with external processing, I mean external, other effects to make it cooler. Let's distort it. I think it's a little bit too high pitched. Oh, this one is way too loud, I think. Hey, better. Maybe. Okay, oper operator F. Let's turn out the cores. Let's maybe try this. I'm gonna add an EQ. EQ, 10 Q, yep. You know, everything I have here is open source, so I, it doesn't, apart from the initial sound, nothing really changes for me, which is really nice. Okay, I think I want to distort it after this happened. Maybe with um, tap tube warmth. Ah, yes. Ah, it's too loud, it's too loud. Let's compress it. Maybe we should just turn down our monitoring. Is it too loud for you? I think it's not. Oh, sweet. Okay, we have like kind of the middle ground. Let's distort it again because distortion is great. Ah, uh, I see. I think we're discovering some. I think we're discovering some. Uh... Some um, minor um, problems with maybe the quality of, of the processing in Oxy FM synth. Uh, or maybe that's just the uh, horrendous amount of distortion I had added. Three different processors. I think we'll need to another add another equalizer or maybe just a little bit of reverb. I think I'm gonna go with Guitar X Zeta reverb. Let's compress it again. And finally, some <laughs> again, some.
808. Okay, we have a kick. Now, what actually what I want to do, we have tempo of 120 as the default one. I wanted to do something hectic. Let's go with 174. Let's try some drawn bass maybe. I don't know, we might change this later. So, and we have snare here. So this is gonna be the snare. You know, drum synthesis is very, is one of the most difficult things. I think like decent drum synthesis. So once I get that done, I'm really not afraid about the rest too much. <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> Feels kind of dubby. <gasps> Alrighty, again, turning off what I don't need, turning up what I need. And I need noise. I will try to make the make the operator E, influence operator F again. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I changed the operator F. Okay, operator E, sorry. Well, this sounds pretty decent. What is operator Z? Who knows? I really don't know. There's some info. Oh, it's another noise oscillator, is it? Should be. Oh, but this one has changed variable type. Let's disable everything else and try this. Why can't I hear it? Oh, I see. Is it? It's a freaking filter. Awesome. Is it? Low pass. Okay, let's disable Put everything through low pass. Yeah, sweet. Can I have a... I have an envelope, sweet. This is nice. Oh, this is interesting. I like it. Uh, I'm not sure what what's the pitch of this. Um, Snare. Oh, come on. EQ 10Q, where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay, could be good. Yeah, I have a little bit too little high end. 
now some reverb. I could actually maybe use a verb. Make it small. So it just adds some ambience and feel of a room, of a space. Now, of course, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna distort it. Pretty sweet. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah, we're gonna compress it then. I want to accentuate this transient, but also make it sound bigger. You know, reverb on this doesn't work. At least not with this amount. This kick doesn't sound too good, actually. This is the first kick I ever made with Oxy FM, so probably I'm gonna improve. How about putting this all through, or at least this one through Z? Whoa. Okay. I don't like this strange after noise, but you know what? I'm gonna maybe try and mitigate with a sidechain gate. Also, well, let's see if it's introduced by something else or is in the source. Well, the source is pretty quiet. Is there a master volume somewhere here? Oh, I know, I'm probably... Well, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, we need sidechain compression, a uh, gating. So I'm gonna use a sidechain gate, not because I can introduce an additional input from the side, but because I have filtering options right here that I can use to make the gate only let the sound through when there are low frequencies available because the dirty stuff that I don't like is only in the high frequencies. So let's go to listen mode and make a low gate. See, there is no bad stuff here. However, we want the click, initial click, so Let's I think I need to do it before. Hmm. Oh. That's what I wanted. Sweet. Oh, 
awesome. It's not perfect yet, but it's getting there. I think I want to pitch it a little bit down. the first one, the first EQ. Sounds very acoustic. It does. Wow. Interesting. Okay, that is starting to sound like something useful. Let's save the session because that is very important. Oh my, this is interesting. Well, what I need now is a hi hat, actually, a couple of hi hats. Let's go with hi hat one. Let's do a simple backbeat kind of thing. Ah, I know. I'm going to make it quarter. Make these two quieter. Oh, that's too fast. Let's stretch it. Yeah, that's great. Now I can just consolidate this range to... Oh, something broke. Not super cool. Okay, we can leave it like that. That's quite hi hat if you ask me. Ooh, sweet. Oh, that's pretty nice. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, uh, I kid, I'm kidding. I have some idea. Oh, that's sweet. That's pretty crazy. This, this is pretty nice. This is velocity sensing. Okay, so that's nothing. How does the reverb sound in here? Oh. It has some... Okay. Maybe I'm gonna try to push it through a filter too. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh man, this is the awesome goodness. I love it. It's so ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to run it all through the filter. So I need to route it to Z, use activate Z, and then this is the filter. Am I right? <laughs> Type, high pass. Okay. Oh dear.
pretty nice. You have a nice click. Oh, this is really loud. All right, so this is panning. All right, well, let's go with this. I would just go with an EQ. See what we have here. Yeah, I tried to high, f high pass it, but it didn't. It wasn't super successful. This is a little bit too much. There's another one there. Pretty piercing. And overall, I could maybe kind of boost the high hat. High. Ah, there's. I know, there's too little noise in this. Oh, control with the velocity. Sweet, <laughs> we have a drum and bass ish beat. Is my coffee drinkable already? That's interesting. Sorry for that. Okay, let's have a fun, let's have some fun with the beat. <laughs> oh, that's really fun. Can I make some ghost notes? Maybe I can make a ghost snare. I'm gonna save it and duplicate my snare instrument. Let's make a new playlist. Oh, it's on the bottom. You see, I made myself quite a few <laughs> tracks to work with. Okay, I'm going to insert some Oh, wait a minute, should I make longer notes? Wow, like it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about, but this is... Um I think we need to relieve the compression a lot on this one because otherwise it's gonna sound like a turned down sound, not like a quieter sound.
something strange is happening. Maybe it's due to the compression. Let's try. Nope. No, I think it's due to the timing. Okay, that's more consistent. And once it's consistent, I can use something like a call transient designer to add the spike in. I usually do this with a compressor, but because we have already messed up the sound pretty bad, I'm gonna try to not do it with a compressor. Also, I'm still lacking some high end. However, I think we have a trouble with some real bad spikes. So I'm gonna add a an Alpes filter to kind of death stack the whole thing and maybe a DC offset remover also. And then a, let's use a compressor maybe. No, let's use Wolf Shaper. I wanna clip it. It's pretty loud, a bit too much. Gonna try tame it with compression again. Maybe not turn it up again. Let's use it like a limiter. Can we tame the peaks? All right, better. Hey, how about just using it? Softer now. <laughs> okay. I think yeah, that's that's very not realistic. <laughs> the noise just <laughs> the noise just push. <laughs> it just it has no decay. It just goes forever. Okay, I have the operator X. Yeah, it has sustained it. That's more realistic, right. And now this doesn't have such an influence, such an impact. I must say this kick is pretty weird. I'm not sure if it's good. Try to mess it up more. I 
how about actually adding some proper gain before all that stuff? Because I'm trying to make it louder. It's not super quiet, which is strange. Okay. It's pretty strange, if you ask me. <laughs> I think it kind of works. Let's add a bus so we have any we can mix our sweet drum kit into a just one bus is going to be enough. Oh, I should have changed to insert it in the beginning. I just have to manually move it. All right, now let's assign it. The kick goes to drums. The snare goes to drums. Snare ghost goes to drums. And hi hat one goes to drums. Now. Yeah, the kick is definitely too loud still. And it's lacking, it's lacking a pitch slide, but I'm not sure how to make it. Let's save it. Hmm. Try from scratch. That's what I need. I need to disable the keyboard tracking. So now I have an arbitrary frequency. Which can do some weird stuff. Is it better? Uh, <laughs> I dare you to make a kick drum out of a Dirac impulse. I need to pick up my headphones. Because this, oh sorry, they are here. Or are they? Wait a second. 
because I might not be hearing the bass as it is. I might be hearing it skewed and maybe, maybe it sounds entirely different than I think. Holy crap. Holy crap. How about disabling the limiter? Okay. That's a lot of bass and a deep bass. Shit. Wow. This is heavy. Wow. is insane unfortunately I think that because of the gate we are still losing quite a lot of the transient but hmm I actually can remove this stuff with this transient designer. Uh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to try and use a, something called hard clipper. No limiter. By Steve Harris. This is super nice because you can listen to the residue. You can listen to what you're actually clipping. Okay, I'm gonna try and use compression one more time. <laughs> can you see the amount of plugins I'm using? to shape this kick into submission, to kick this kick. Let's hear it in the mix. Well, 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 let's save a new version. I'm not sure if we're making progress. Maybe I should leave it for now and focus on other sounds or maybe just call it a day. Uh, leave it for now, we are just, you know, 15 minutes in. Uh, 
and do some other stuff. Crap. No, I just can't let go. This kick doesn't sound well. Let's maybe disable all the plugins. Hmm. I don't know why doing A, B doesn't disable everything at once. Let's listen from the source. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's not the problem, but... Oh, we have some really big spikes here. Oh, scooped mids. I'm not sure if I like this curve anymore. Let's reset it. Or have another curve, could just compare them. It's a nice feature of EQ 10Q. You can have multiple curves. You can have two actually, you can switch between them. I actually want to make this shorter. I know what I should do. I shouldn't use the sidechain gate. I should use the uh, multiband gate. I have used it to deal with noisy recordings of voice before because you can basically Do stuff like this. <laughs> it's maybe so we have the click, but we don't have the n the nasty stuff that goes after it. That's what we needed. Now compression, lots of compression. Some distortion. Actually, we still have some of that. Let's see if we can, what's happening here. Oh, that's, there it is.
Actually, it's interesting because it changes when I switch between peak and rel mass. Sweet. Oh, nice. <laughs> Multiband gate is an amazing thing. So we can clean up the sound in different ways. See if we can shorten. Sure we can. Why not? We can change the ratio. Sweet. <laughs> now it's a bit too short. <laughs> And bring some of that back just to leave it some character. Oh, that probably wasn't helping. Yeah, we don't need this reverb. Let's delete it. I think that we, need, we don't need more compression actually. Let's disable it for now. Oh, oh, that's that's an overkill now. No, I don't like this at all. It sounds terrible. Uh, this sounds terrible too. Let's make a new curve. And see. We have huge amounts of bass. Let's see if we can... Oh, I think there's something. I think we're peaking. Let's maybe do this. Make it a high pass. Oh, this is helping. The Alpes filter makes it sound entirely different. We are rearranging, like, you know, making some frequencies lag behind the other ones, and we're like restacking our transient. I actually like this. I think the DC offset is no longer needed. It doesn't change anything, so let's delete it. Delete that too, and this too. Oh, this is pretty sweet. Actually, it doesn't do much. I don't think we need these two either. Let's delete them. Okay. I'm going to actually snapshot another version. Don't save now, just the snapshot. Version free. Let's listen with the whole thing. All right, it's a bit too clicky. I think we have to mitigate it with the EQ. Yeah, that sounds better. Sweet. Okay, uh, we're almost hour in. I think we're gonna leave it now. Uh, this is this is end of day one, and yeah. If you want to see more of that stuff, join me in the another episode, uh, as I'll be finishing this track, learning Oxy FM synth as I go, which is very unusual. Usually, I show you stuff that I have already figured out. So if you want to learn some stuff that I already figured out, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And as always, leave your comments in the comment section. Have your suggestions heard. And um, if you want to see more stuff like that, consider joining my patrons at patreon.com slash anfa. Because these are the guys that allow me to take off time from my full-time job to do this and 
share the knowledge. So yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.